Hello viewers, in this video I want us to look at a question on bearings. This question is coming from a 2017 grade 12 external math paper 1 and it came as question 18. The question reads, A, B and C are three points on level ground. B is on a bearing of 0, 0,70 degrees from A and C is on a bearing of 130 degrees from B. So this here is our diagram showing that information. If you've seen the bearing of B from A is 0, 0,70 degrees here and the bearing of C from B is 130 degrees. The questions. Calculate the bearing of A, A from B. So this has a two marks. Then B, B from C. This part also has a two marks. So what we're looking at, first of all, is A from B. A from B. So meaning at this point, we want the measure from north, clockwise, all the way up to the line a b since the bearing that we are looking for is a from b so now what is just missing here is this angle here so how do we get this angle here so i'm going to extend the north points at a and b to easily work out this part so for a be like this even at b extending the north point to give us that so this means that we've got two parallel lines at a and at b and this line a b is acting as a transversal so now this principle is coming from angles associated with the straight lines so when you have two parallel lines it means that there you can identify alternate angles corresponding angles and allied angles so that's the concept we're working with so since we've come up with these two lines which are moving in the same way so these are parallel lines and a b is the transversal so this means we can identify the alternate angles corresponding angles and allied angles so i'll start with this one here if this angle here is 70 degrees then it means that this angle here is also 70 degrees so these two angles are alternate angles so this here is 70 degrees alternate angles fall on different sides of the transversal different sides of the transversal and inside the parallel uh, lines then to come up with this measure here we are just going to use straight line straight line angle is 180 so from there up to here this is 180 degrees so if you want to find this missing angle here we just have to subtract 180 minus 130 gives us 50 so this measure is 50 degrees so this means that we've come up with a full measure that we need for our bearing of A from B. So we move clockwise from north, clockwise from north up to the line AB to get the bearing of A from B. So to get the full measure, this is just simple addition, 130 plus 50 plus 70. So what is this going to give us if we add? So the addition will go like this. So for A, bearing of A from B, we are simply adding 130 degrees plus 50 degrees plus 70 degrees. So addition of this will give us the following. 0 plus 0 plus 0, this gives 0, 3 plus 5 plus 7, this gives 15, so 5, carry 1, then 1 plus this 1, we'll get to 50. 
So our conclusion is the bearing of O A from B is 250 degrees. And this is the answer for the first part. Then going to the second part, B, calculate the bearing of B from C. So to calculate the bearing of B from C, we go back to the diagram and we'll start with the drawing a north point at C. So drawing a north point at C. will also give us uh, two parallel lines if you compare B and C we have two parallel lines here so this will give us uh, alternate angles corresponding angles and allied angles so then what are we going to do so to get the bearing of o, B from C the measure that we are looking for is this measure So it is this measure moving clockwise from north all the way up to the line BC. So this is the measure that we want. Now, here, since we've got two parallel lines, again, we can identify alternate angles. For example, we can even use this 50 here. If this is 50, then it means that this measure also is 50. So what we're looking at is 50 degrees here. And the measure that we want is this one. Okay, so angles at the point add up to 360. So all these angles here, including 50, adding up to 360. So what we're just going to basically do is subtract then. To find this measure from north all the way up to the line BC, we just have to remove 50 degrees from 360 and we'll get it. So, for B, we're going to do the following. So, we're going to write 360 degrees, take away 50 degrees. And this is going to give us the following. 0 take away 0, that is 0. 6 take away 5, that is a 1. Then 3, take away, it's more like there's a 0 here, take away 0, that will give us just 3. And we're getting 3, 10. So, the conclusion is the bearing of B from C is 310 degrees and that's the solution for part b so this here is the diagram that we were using to get the bearings so bearings are easy to work out when you use concept of who angles associated with these straight lines because there you can identify alternate angles corresponding angles and allied angles though we have not used uh, corresponding angles and allied angles it is easy to work with the uh, angles associated with straight lines when it comes to bearings so that is my solution for this question thank you so much for watching this video